Hello, my name is Dan Dubois, and I'm the CEO of DefendersShield.com. We are here today to chat a little bit about what I did personally in my own house to minimize exposures from electromagnetic radiation. So this part of the house, I actually terminated all outside services. I brought everything this part of the house because it's away from all the other main sections of the home. Cable service that comes in, comes into this part of the house. I terminate all of it up here. I actually then put a, a router inside the system and I provide ethernet service throughout the entire house so I can avoid all the Wi-Fi in the house. There is no transmission to Wi-Fi in the house at night. Um, I keep it on a $10 on off switch and I turn it off at 10 o'clock at night when I go to bed. Now it turns out because of where I am during the day, you're really quite safe, but to be conservative, I have that built in. I've actually terminated all my power right here and the meter is actually right below us. So even that is far distance from anything else in the house where our family typically lives. I put everything back here in the back of the house that's far away from the living areas and this is how you do it. You bring your service up, you terminate, and then you bring your box right above. Uh, a lot of this entertainment stuff uses Wi-Fi. Um, I don't do any of that. One of the important things I always recommend is using Ethernet and using that as the vehicle to have broadband access for the services you want. Uh, here's a case in which I actually ran a coaxial cable from the uh, cable company service and I brought it here. This is the only place actually I have coaxial. Everything else is ethernet. So I do not have transmitters on any of the devices. I don't have, uh, I don't have Wi-Fi receivers being used on any of these devices. I'm simply using the electrical infrastructure of the wiring that I put in here, ethernet and uh, coaxial to provide all my multimedia. Let me show you what I'm, I'm, I'm saying. The top wire is an ethernet connection. It's a CAD six wiring that I put out throughout the house. And on the bottom is the coaxial. Those are the two things that terminate and provide me my service. In this case, I have a TV in a bedroom. And what I've done is I've terminated everything with an ethernet wire. I watch all television services through my ethernet. With the apps that we have today, we can actually watch uh, broadband access services, cable services that were traditionally on coaxial, now we can watch it through apps. And you're not using Wi-Fi. So one of the other things you also we want to make sure you do is put in independent wiring in every room of your house. That's Ethernet, at least CAD 6 Ethernet. Uh, here's a case in which I have a, 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 a wide TV and I have run ethernet wiring to this bedroom and I've terminated a Roku on the ethernet. I'm not using Wi-Fi. I'm using the ethernet access that they provide with a Roku device. This way I don't have any Wi-Fi in or out of a bedroom. So a very important part of a home is your workspace and the kind of configurations you have with the equipment you use. One of the very first things you should absolutely do is have an ethernet connection to your laptop or your desktop. Having that ethernet connection eliminates the possibility of transmitters, Wi-Fi transmitted transmitting into the room. I use a separate monitor and I push it back and it's a couple of feet away from me and the milligauss readings of this is very low. So when I, when I use this and I'm about two foot away, I'm really pretty safe. You wanna make sure that it's all wired connections. So this combination is a way of reducing exposures and this is particularly important if you're electrohypersensitive. It does reduce to the levels you probably can tolerate. 